If you're a hardcore PC gamer, by now you're probably wondering what's out there for audio if I don't want to use my motherboard. Well, I got something really cool to show you guys, so let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Please remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. I wanna know what type of PC audio you're currently using. So we have here the Sennheiser GSX-1000. Now this is basically gonna be a gaming DAC to make your PC gaming experience significantly better compared to something like a, like a basic motherboard audio. Now recently sound cards and even these type of DACs have become a little controversial. Years ago, sound cards, everybody would use them. They were really essential. But the last few years, motherboard audio has gotten significantly better and things like these became a little bit outdated, you know, especially sound cards. But I still feel that if you get something like this and pair it with some nice headphones and your use case really fits the application, you can get significantly more of an immersive gaming experience than you could otherwise just using your motherboard. So now let's talk about a couple of reasons why I like this. First, it sounds really good. Now, this is not gonna drive the really high impedance headphones. Like if you have something that's 600 ohms, it's better to get something else. But for most type of gaming headsets that aren't as demanding to drive, these will do it fine. Um, so for music, they do sound pretty good. You can put it in stereo mode. The sound is clear enough. It's fairly powerful. Um, these are really meant for gaming and specifically their 7.1 virtualization that they have. It's phenomenal. One thing that's really cool about these, you literally just plug it in with an USB to your computer. You don't have to download drivers or clunky software. Everything is done on the unit. You can plug in your mic or your headset. You can adjust your volume. I absolutely love this volume wheel. Like it feels absolutely amazing. It's kind of a fingerprint magnet and it does get dirty very easily. Even when I was shooting some of this B-roll, I had to make sure I really cleaned it off or else you see those fingerprints. But I love sort of moving that around. The screen is extremely responsive. It's almost a little bit too responsive. There's a good chance you may hit one of the sensitive settings like on the screen or one of the four spots. Um, you can actually program your different settings by holding one of the four corners. The unit will give you an audio response knowing that your settings are saved but just be careful because it's very easy to sort of touch something and change your settings it is a pretty sensitive screen so plug in a good pair of headphones or even your gaming headset and it's really going to make your game come alive now there are a couple of different modes in this you can keep it in the 2.0 stereo i prefer to do that for like music and movies and things of that nature but when i'm playing a game like battlefield 5 um, or any other game like that that has a really immersive world i really like to do the 7.0 one virtualization it sounds amazing you don't really have to mess around with any drivers or software i think it's super easy and plug and play after you sort of learn the buttons and learn how to use this it is really easy to use at first it's a little bit unique so you kind of have to get used to it but after a while you kind of learn what all the little things do you can sort of have the sound come from in front of you or behind you you can change different things with the intensity of the sound and of course adjust the volume so it is really customizable and really i think the best way to get a good sound out of this in your game is to sort of mess around with the different settings and just see whatever sounds best for you. One of my all-time favorite games pairs beautifully with this and that's going to be Quake Champions. That's an FPS game. What I really like about this GSX 1000 with that game, it's like you can hear footsteps, you can hear where your enemy is, your opponent, anywhere. Like it's really, really crystal clear, um, especially if you put it into different modes and you really fine-tune it. You can really tune it to hear for that type of action. Of course, when you're hearing for footsteps, 
you're going to have sort of the treble and the higher ends of the register a lot more apparent and you're not going to get that full bodied sound as much but you can sort of tune it so you have a more balanced sound if you're going more for a fun gaming experience but for a competitive gamer especially fps even something like fortnite or call of duty would do well in this as well you can really hear very well and you can pinpoint where the sound is coming from which i find really incredible in terms of the aesthetics, I really love the way this unit looks like. That OLED screen looks absolutely amazing. It really, really does. You have your volume and you have all the different settings. When you touch it, it just comes to life. So how does it hold up well in 2020? Um, well, I think it holds up remarkably well. First, it's going to be a lot cheaper now in 2020 than when it initially came out. You could either get it on the second-hand market for cheaper, or even the retail price if you go to somewhere like Amazon is considerably cheaper than when it was new. You can also connect speakers to these and really switch between speakers and headphones. But I don't know if I would recommend it as much for speakers. I think these are really geared more towards headphones. And with a nice pair of headphones, you're going to get a fan fantastic, fantastic, immersive experience with their 7.1 technology. Is there anything that I don't like about these? Well, it would be nice if they drove some higher impedance headphones, so that does limit your selection a little bit, but generally most headphones on the market that the consumer is gonna get, it's gonna be sort of between 60 and 150 ohms anyway. Um, second, I really like the build quality, but it's definitely a fingerprint magnet. Um, I wish that maybe it was a little more resistant to that, um, and it is very, very sensitive. And of course, the sound for music isn't really ideal. It'll do it fine in 2.0 stereo, but this is really meant for gaming and specifically using their 7.1 virtualization engine, which is fantastic. Aside from that, not too many quibbles or complaints. I think this is a really great unit. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this look into the GSX-1000. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.